Hi folks, I'm Tony Ludovici. I'm a former Navy fighter pilot, an ex-college baseball player, and I have a background in engineering. In this short video, we're going to discuss the reasons why adding weight to a baseball or softball bat actually hampers your swing mechanics and slows down your swing speed and reduces your swing power. We're going to get into a little bit of science here, but I promise you it won't be too deep, and I've got a lot of nice graphics that'll help you fully understand what we're going to talk about today. This video is perfect for anyone who's looking to increase their swing speed and especially for those that have been using weights added to a bat in order to do so. So without further ado, let's begin. This video applies to donuts. No, not those kinds of donuts, these kinds of donuts. Barrel weights, bat sleeves, weighted bats, yes, sledgehammers, and of course, any combination of the above. There have been numerous scientific studies that have quantitatively proven that swinging with a weighted bat actually slows bat speed. With a quick Google search, you can find many of these studies. These studies have been detailed in the Wall Street Journal and in many other publications, articles, and online blogs. For our purposes here, I'll discuss the donut, but the same physics apply to any weight that's attached to a bat. First off, as with any mass, the force of gravity acts upon a donut and the direction of that force is downward. Notice it is not opposite the direction of the swing, which is essentially horizontal. The donut's downward force trains the improper muscles, muscles that are not required to swing a bat and is detrimental to proper swing mechanics. Swinging with a weight is what we call negative training. You're worse off than if you didn't perform the training in the first place. The only muscles that are engaged to counter the downward force of a donut or weight on a bat are those muscles that act to keep the bat up in the swing plane. These muscles are not used to drive a bat throughout the swing plane. For this reason, swinging a weighted bat may make you feel stronger, it may tire you out, but it won't increase your swing speed. This is precisely why many scientific studies have proven that training with a weighted bat results in slower swing speeds once the weight is removed. A second detrimental force for a weighted bat is centrifugal force. Centrifugal force is the same effect that causes you to feel like you're being thrown outward from a spinning merry-go-round. Similar to a merry-go-round, centrifugal force is exerted outward along the shaft of a swung bat. Centrifugal force creates the sensation that the bat is being pulled from your hands. It will cause you to tighten your grip on the bat Yet again, centrifugal force is not opposite the swing path, and just like the downward force from a weight, centrifugal force engages and trains muscles that are not required to drive a bat through the hitting zone. The centrifugal force does not increase swing speed or power and results in negative training as well. Finally, a weight on a swung bat is subject to Newton's first law of motion, also called the law of inertia. The law of inertia states that an object in motion will stay in motion until another force acts upon it. In essence, once the swing has begun, the weight will continue on its arc path with little additional effort from the swinger. The swinger will basically be along for the ride without having to continue to provide force to drive the bat barrel in its arc. This too is negative training and is a hindrance to building strength and power. Collectively, a weighted bat imparts a downward force of gravity, an outward centrifugal force, and is subject to the law of inertia. None of these forces are opposite the direction of the swing plane, and all, according to scientific principles and proven through numerous studies, result in a slower swing speed and are detrimental to developing optimal swing mechanics. Well, it wouldn't be a science lesson if there wasn't homework. Yeah, I said homework. But I promise it won't be too hard. The next time you swing a bat with a donut or other added weight, very carefully notice the forces that the weight imparts on your swung bat. On the first couple swings, notice the downward force due to gravity. You'll most easily feel this force early in your swing, even though it's present throughout. The added weight can cause you to drop your hands early in the swing, which is not what we wanna do, and can lead to bad habits and poor mechanics throughout the swing. On the next couple swings, Notice the outward centrifugal force. This force will build and will maximize right at the contact point. Notice that the bat will feel like it's pulling away from you and feel how you have to tighten your grip and hold on to the bat. Next, 
Take a couple cuts and notice the inertial force. Notice how once the bat's fully in motion, again, around the contact point, it feels like the bat's on cruise control and is moving through its swing arc on its own. If you're really focused, you'll be able to detect each of these forces. The second part of your homework is to notice, when swinging your bat with a weight attached, whether there are any forces which oppose the bat as it moves through its swing path. Notice if there's any resistance force countering your effort to swing your bat. I'll give you a small hint. You're not gonna sense any forces, none. It's scientifically impossible to feel any opposing forces because there are none. This is why a weighted bat has been proven to be completely useless when it comes to training for bat speed and power. And I suspect after this experiment, you'll never train with a weighted bat again. In order to increase swing speed and power, we would ideally want a training aid that is lightweight and only provides resistance opposite the path of the bat throughout the entire swing. I'll discuss the science behind the Ultimate Swing Resistance Trainer in another video. Well, I hope you have a better understanding why weighted bats are a hindrance when training for swing speed and swing power. If you liked or learned something today, please feel free to share it. Also, you can follow us on our Facebook and YouTube pages under Swing Mojo. Look for the launch of our website and the rollout of our patent pending product, Swing Mojo. Thanks for watching, have a great day.